What's up guys, it's Badass Brown Skin back with another video. Now in this video, I'm working with Arabella Hair. We had a great collaboration together. They sent me a 613 wig, 13X4 lace frontal unit that is straight and 20 inches long. Okay, so for one, y'all know I'm a little scared of blonde because I, I don't work with blonde like that. But they hooked me up. They sent me some eyelashes, hair clips, um, stocking caps, scarf, all of that. So I'm like, okay, y'all make me feel a little comfortable for me to work with this wig. So we finna start working with this wig. Um, right off the bat, you can tell that the hair is really thick. It's 180% density, which is really good. So she's giving very thick and full for the most part. And it's just looking like he's waiting for me to add some color to it. But y'all know I need to go ahead and work with this blonde off bat. Because I don't usually work with blonde, you know. So I'm excited to install this. Now off bat, um, the hairline is pre-plucked. But I would suggest for you to customize it to your liking. Um, I like the hairline when it um, came out the packaging. But I already knew. Um, especially with uh, blonde hair. Like I wanted to thin it out a little bit more you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i went in and plucked it off camera because it took very long um so i showed y'all me hot combing it a little bit like right off the bat because it was like kind of elevated and i wanted to see exactly how much i needed to plug so y'all know i've been skipping out on the stocking cap method for a while now so i just put on the stocking cap and color it to my foundation shade or my skin color shade um and then i also put some foundation on the lace as well if i'm not using lace tint spray but i haven't used lace tint spray in a little while um so i just went ahead and did my stocking cap method i used to do um so we put the wig on you guys can see the hairline is like giving natural like you can just style like this um but i did want to like i didn't know if i want to do a side part or a middle part but how it was giving i was like we're gonna go with a middle part because i haven't did a sleek middle part on some blonde hair so i'm like okay let's try it out at the same time i was a little scared because it did seem so thick like maybe i needed to pluck more but i didn't fully hot comb it either so i was like okay tay let's be patient y'all know i lack that so i had to <laughs> pace myself with this process now i can't say it does look very cool and cute right now um also this wig um it's halloween it's about it's about to be halloween's halloween time right now this wig is the perfect wig um to wear for a blonde unit or to color your unit period point blank i do not care it gives you room to uh customize and it all also looks good how it comes so i do recommend this wig y'all know if y'all need anything check the description box i probably have a coupon in there as well so yeah go ahead and check that out so you also want to be careful when you're cutting those ear tabs because you don't want to cut off any good ass hair okay so be careful with that process i use scissors because i know if i use that razor comb i would slice and dice the whole damn unit up and we don't want that so i'm also using the scissors to cut zigzags and the lace that is going to be on my forehead because you don't want your lace to be visible but guys it is a lace front it's okay um don't listen to me though because some hey if you're paying all this money slay it to the guys hey i feel you 100 percent on that so it is what it is i just don't be giving a fuck <laughs> so don't mind me but i will go ahead and tell you if that's what you want to do i would recommend you bleaching the knots um I knew I won't bleach in no knots because I'm putting foundation on it. And I knew I was also going to take this right off because it works. So it's okay for me. Okay, so I'm placing the lace where I want it to sit um, because I'm just going to use got to be. I'm not using any gel. I'm not using anything else because this wig did come with a strap band. Like the strap, um, what do they call that? The glueless method. Yeah, it came with a band. So all I had to do was put the band on and lay the lace down. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to use got to be because that'll it won't leave a whole bunch of residue and and marks um on it when i take it off and it'll be easy to put right back on and you know fix it a little bit so we're just using got to be to stick it down i know it's looking a little crazy right now i planned on doing bangs y'all because i didn't know what to do with this you know i had so many thoughts and ideas going through my head but i was like hold on we're gonna do a slick part a slick middle part first okay so that's what we're doing so i'm also making sure that my sides are down good as you guys can see after you add that foundation and got to be it damn near turns invisible so uh, that's why um i don't know i mean you can bleach it if you want to i don't be doing all of that but it will probably slay it a lot more but when i add that got to be got to be is my secret weapon hey it soaks everything into skin and i love it okay so now that the unit has dried with the got to be and i didn't use a lot y'all just sprayed it down the perimeter um i'm went ahead and cut out some edges where i want my edges at and i fixed my parting that took a lot of time so i went ahead and did that off camera so i pull out my two little peekaboo edges where i like them at <laughs> and um I'm going to curl them the opposite direction. Now, on this piece that I'm curling right now, I curled it the other direction. And I didn't like how it was looking. So, I curled it this way. Um, and, yeah. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I guess it helps you, like, curl the edge on its own or something. I really don't 
know why I be doing this because it makes my edges crunchy like I don't know so I'm gonna keep working with it maybe I'll end up liking it more but for the most part it's pretty cool so I took some got to be and put it on my toothbrush and I'm gonna go ahead and shape those edges the way I like the camera cut off because I ran out of footage but for the most part this is what I did so the got to be dried out a little bit quicker than I liked which I mean what did you expect so I went in and added some mousse and it made the whole thing smoother as you can see <laughs> We went ahead and added a little bit of our foundation color in the middle part um, and like where we left the edges out at um, just to show where that scalp would be because it is it is a bright blonde you guys and it clearly ain't coming from my scalp but we are gonna make it look that way I'm sorry I had a hiccup so I'm going ahead in and straightening the hair with my flat irons I love these flat irons I got them off of Amazon they're like titanium plate with argan oil or something like that infused they're really good they curl really bomb and they flat iron easily like quick in a jiffy they're just good I love them so much so I'm going ahead in and I'm straightening the hair I thought about doing curls but I was like I want a sleek middle part <laughs> so that's what I stuck with because y'all know I can get indecisive um, and I'm just pressing it out um, easily taking my time with it just adorning the hair the hair is very soft pretty bouncy it moves y'all it's so pretty like I can't believe I'm rocking this this blonde color you like y'all don't understand I don't I don't I, I don't wear blonde <laughs> but they wanted to send me blonde so I was like okay then set it over okay so um, I do really like this wig it's very pretty it stands out I had a lot of compliments in person and also on the internet um, with this unit if you guys follow me on TikTok you're probably seeing some of my latest videos um, with this unit on yes this wig is from Arabella hair so um, yes I'll make sure to mention that for you guys or put some clippers or something up here in like another video I'm, a, I'm going to post but this hair is the bomb um we had no crazy flyaways we had no um knotty rough hair and not knotty as in, like as entangles like um it didn't tangle in no way when i brushed it out like because sometimes i'll get that with units guys and um i didn't get that with this one and it was blonde and colored at that so that really surprised me so i'm going in and um adding my wax stick at the top and i'm trying to be light with it because i don't like adding too much wax stick because it can make stuff oily but let me tell you that jank did it was like the finished touch like it, it did what it was supposed to do and i just fell in love with all of this i was so hurt when i had to take this off y'all so you want to go ahead and use a wax stick lightly tap wherever you have your hair laying at it could be a side part middle part whatever tap it lightly and brush the rest of the product in um and yeah you should be good to go you can also use a hot comb after that but i wouldn't really recommend it i don't like using a hot comb after i use a wax stick that's just my personal thingamajigger i don't know it works for me that way um but this unit did not have flyaways at the top so maybe that's the difference <laughs> i don't know so it's giving really sleek and chic i really love this unit it's very pretty um bouncy and it stands out especially on my skin and i love it okay because i mean it was different from my eyesight as well like my perspective like oh my goodness i didn't think i could but i did period so yeah y'all if y'all interested make sure you check the description box below i am gonna pop back with like some makeup on and um i think i cut some like bangs or layers into this um wig i did i did cut some layers because i just i'm liking the layer look and y'all i I don't know i just love layers okay and i i love having like bangs and shit in my face but i don't know it was something about the layers and i wanted to do it because it was just gonna give like that i had a whole idea in my head like chic chic so then i put on my suit top you know i had to go all out i had to step all into character y'all like it's the bomb look at this hair though i can't make it up y'all it looks so good i really recommend this company if you want blonde hair i really recommend this company to y'all because their units are bomb like seriously my camera kept cutting off at the best parts but this is how this hair looks from the back from the side it's very long i thought it was like crazy long for 20 inches maybe i'm just a little off but yes this is a 20 inch wig and it looks like that i don't know maybe i'm short i, I am but still it's it's giving okay so i do recommend it to y'all this is me pop back with that suit i was talking about the beat face um it's giving oh oh i'm just speechless this is giving speechless okay i i'm really feeling myself don't mind me um but i haven't been like dolled up in a while and this was the perfect way to snap it on all back a blonde wig with a beat face and a cute outfit okay so um yes y'all go ahead this this wig was definitely a real big confident booster so um you know period so check out the rest of my videos i'll be back with another one soon that is brown skin out like comment subscribe and i love y'all to pieces